I really wanted to be a preschool teacher, so I went to college and got my early childhood education certificate, and then I started working in the field. In a typical day for an early childhood educator, you're responsible for opening a program. You always have to be on time because parents need to get to work. You are in charge of ensuring the safety, well-being and health of all the kids throughout the whole day and that's the most important component of our job. Now I've spent an afternoon babysitting two kids and I don't know how I would ever take care of 10 or 15. <laughs> how is that something you deal with? Currently we have 30 families wow. uh, coming to our preschool program and we have to get to know exactly where every child is, how they're doing and what their, each of their needs are. Laying out nutritional snacks, making sure that they get outside time, that they have a range of activities to do through the day. If you're running a program as an early childhood educator on your own, you could easily be working up to 50 to 60 hours a week. If you're working in a group center, or where you have other staff, then you can work 40 hours. People come to you because they have to be able to trust you and you have to be able to talk to them. You have to be able to listen and take the time to get to know all your families and their differences and what's happening at home. That ability to keep things confidential. Early childhood education is a really interesting field to get into because as soon as you take your courses, you will start using what you've learned in your own life. They give you the ideas, but you have to use your life skills. You just build your repertoire once you start working in the field. Yeah, that's right. I have my early childhood certificate, which is the certificate program, which is one year. You have to do 500 hours working under an early childhood educator, and it's offered all over British Columbia. Most towns offer it, or you can take it by distance, no matter where you decide to go in life. You can run your own home-based business where you can have your own children with you. There's also government agencies such as the licensing officer that you can go into later in life with more experience. And you can carry on your training. There's really no limit. Do you guys think we can trick Brian? Let's see if we can trick him. I'm gonna mix up these numbers and we're gonna clap them and we're gonna see if we can trick Brian. Okay, you ready? So the first number's two, ready? One, two. Zero. Did we trick him? <laughs> we try and trick everybody because zero is nothing. There's zero no is nothing. No clap for zero. I think within taking your training through the college, they teach you to be more spatially aware and know how the program's set up. Put, you know, sensorial things like the water table out, which helps children calm, and then have activities that they can learn by stacking and learn more to coordination. And all of that is within the program planning, and that makes or breaks a program. You have to have a natural talent to work with kids. Mm -hmm. You have to have patience. You have to be able to uh, have good common sense. Those are things you're not taught. Sure. Um, the, the things you learn in school is how do I do this art project. The fun you have with it is something that you have inside yourself. Hey, shake your hands out. Who's going to keep up? Are you ready? <gasps> Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes and ears, mouth and nose. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, did you get that? That was really fast. <laughs> that was really fast. I didn't keep up. <laughs> there you go. Take the time to do your learning first, then get into the field and have pride in what we do. When they're all taught the same and you have good educators on site that are teaching good social skills, good, you know, learning what's going to happen and, and all that, then you have a smooth run program. Of course. Because I don't need to do it. The biggest thing is that we're teaching children the skills they're going to need for a whole lifetime. There's a lot of rewarding benefits in being an early childhood educator. My favorite is the aha moments when you're trying to teach a child something or you're, you're helping them and they get it and they've learned that skill and it's like, oh, they got it, you know, and, and those are my favorites. To summarize, some of the skills you'll need include motor coordination, spatial perception, numerical ability. You'll also need to be social and detail-oriented. You'll usually require one to two years of post-secondary education. The average salary can range from eleven to thirty-three thousand dollars per year. The future outlook for this job is promising, as employment opportunities will be increasing in the coming years. Corey, thank you very much for showing us around today. I had a great time. It was great that you could take the time to come see what we do and what the role of an educator is in a daycare. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.
Once again, I'm Brian for Career Track, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.